Hey y'all, it's Brandon with Voodoo Forge. And I want to talk to you about annealing steel today. And uh, what I'm going to actually do is take a, a railroad clip, which is a high carbon steel. It's, it's pretty commonly used in a lot, of, a lot of projects for found materials. But uh, we know it's a good high carbon steel and uh, I'm going to anneal it. Now, I've already done all this, so here is our, uh, our before annealed and here's what it looks like after being annealed. Not a lot of physical differences that you can tell. But um, anyway, first of all, what is annealing? Annealing is one of the, the, the things that we can do to steel as, as blacksmiths that seems magic to, to people who, who don't do this. Um, and it, it's, it's one of the more trickier things that we do. Now with, um, uh, with this type of, of heat treatment, and this is a, a heat treatment, what we're going to do is instead of hardening the steel, we're going to be softening it, annealing it. Now, what what annealing does is it, it reduces the hardness. It makes the, the material more workable. Uh, okay, so how it works, you heat it up to above the recrystallization temperature, uh, critical temp. And as it cools, it recrystallizes, affecting the grain structure. The grain structure in steel works as, as big grain structure, uh, like when we quench it in, in oil or liquid, is, is harder. Smaller grain structure uh, is, is softer steel, and that's what we're going for. There are three stages to this process. Uh, the first stage is recovery, and this is when in the heating process, and this uh, is the removal of the old linear defects and internal stresses that they cause in the steel that came from it being formed into the shape that it is in. The second stage is the recrystallization stage. Uh, this is where string-free grains begin to form and replace grains deformed by internal stresses so this is this is where the new grains everything's everything's reforming in there now it'll maintain the same outward shape you know this one has been annealed this one has not they outwardly are identical but inside the steel is in a totally different configuration now the third step uh, is grain growth and this is where the the microstructures uh, of, of the grains reform and the original strength is lost but can be you know you can always take it back harder it can be hardened it can be tempered uh, this is just to to soften it so those are the three steps of the annealing process now uh, let me let's actually anneal it and I'll show you physically what I can of the uh, I'll do what I can do to show you that it's softer. First step in the annealing process is to heat this spring clip until it's non-magnetic. You can see getting the magnet get along real well right now. But we're going to get it hot enough that it's no longer magnetic. at all. For annealing I use a uh, the bottom of a uh, metal cylinder and kitty litter. Okay. So I'm being annealed. This will sit overnight and cool off very slowly and uh, we'll check her in the morning. It's been about 14 hours since we threw this guy in here. It's cooled all the way down. Here's a clip that is uh, not annealed. Here's the annealed clip. Oh. You 
you can really feel the file digging in on the annealed clip just kind of skating across the the one that hasn't been annealed okay this is the hardened not annealed piece okay, it's not cutting very well you can hear that popping it is cutting but it's just not cutting very well this is the annealed piece. It's cutting a lot faster. I'm applying a lot less pressure. It's swinging out good chips. It's drilling a whole lot easier. I hope hope this is uh, coming across on the uh, on the video. How much easier that was to to drill and file. Okay, now that we've been through all that, hopefully you can see that it, it really softens the material, makes it look a lot more malleable, easier to work, uh, both cold and it can make a difference in your forging. Uh, anything that I make that needs to be hardened um, and tempered, I try to anneal it first or normalize it several times before I do the hardening and tempering process. Uh, normalizing is something we'll talk about in a, in a later video. But this is a good thing to get all the stresses out of something you forged before you, you carry on with any, any other heat treatments or, uh, or anything like that. And also a lot of things, um, like if you think about it, if you're making a, a welded chain, it would be good to anneal that when you're done because you'd rather have something like chain stretch as opposed to snap. And this, this is uh, true with, with several things you can think of. You'd rather them stretch instead of snap. So this is just a process. This is another, another thing you can throw in your blacksmithing arsenal uh, as, you, as you move on. Uh, just It's something else you're armed with. So anyway, I hope you all got something out of this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the channel. All right, y'all behave yourselves.